Hey my friends and Merry Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve to all of you all that are watching this on Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas if you're watching it on Christmas or if you're watching it after. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas. This is my last video obviously before Christmas and hopefully it's going to be a nice long one. I am, it is actually, what is today? Thursday. It's Thursday night. It's about 6.30. I've had a long day and I'm going to go ahead. Tomorrow is my baking day. My sister is going to come over with her girls. We do it every year. It's become tradition and if you've watched last, in the last couple years, I have videos, baking day videos. I'll try to remember to link them down below. It's always a fun time, always a house full, always kind of crazy. You have, you know, like a lunch and we just bake all day and kind of like the big thing that we do is decorate sugar cookies. So what I thought I would do is make a bunch of cookies tonight. All my family, well, my sisters and nieces and stuff, they're all skiing today in West Virginia. So they're gonna come back in town tomorrow and then come over here. So I'm gonna have all the cookies made and then they're just gonna be able to decorate them. And I'm trying a different recipe this year. It's supposed to be like the softest sugar cookies. So we'll see, it's kind of tricky. I've never made these before and they're real thick, but they look amazing and hopefully taste amazing. So I'm gonna do that tonight and then tomorrow I will finish this video. Well, I'll, this video is gonna be over a couple days, but um, I thought I would go ahead and pick up my camera tonight and just show, you, show me making the cookies. I will link any cookie recipes or baking recipes that I'm able to down in the description box. This is a Pinterest recipe, I've never tried it. Hopefully it's good. I'm also going to be doing some rearranging a little bit, not really rearranging, but we're going to take our table, my round table, and I'm going to put this downstairs. Marion is going to take it apart and because today's the 21st, so tomorrow's baking day and then the then we have Christmas Eve and then we have Christmas Day and I have two, I bought two four foot tables, so putting them together, it will seat eight people and we just need more seating, so you know this only seats four, so we'll have a bigger space to you know seat people and cookie decorating and Christmas dinner and all that so we're gonna go ahead and do that tonight I do also have a Christmas banner I want to put up and some tablecloths and things like that so I think I'm gonna get all that ready tonight so that tomorrow I have less to do because my back is probably gonna be hurting by my tomorrow evening if I do it all tomorrow so let's go ahead and make our cookie dough well Marion's taking the table apart first I guess <laughs> Um, to? No, you can. I was gonna make the cookies, but this is fine. I already had one four foot table, but I bought a second one at Walmart, so um, they're not gonna be that much bigger than this table, but they're gonna be square, and so we can fit two, 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 and two. You know, this one we can only fit. Even when we put a leaf in it, we can really only fit like six comfortably, so. So he's downstairs uh, getting his tools to do that, but this recipe, you have to chill the dough for at least two hours to overnight so that's why I want to go ahead and do this tonight um, it's 640 now so if I can get it done and in the refrigerator by like 7 7 15 then I can still roll them out tonight it won't be too late also I'm doing a double batch because I don't think it makes a whole lot because you have to do it so thick you have to roll it 3 eighths of an inch and so I'm gonna do a double batch just to make sure we have enough cookies Two batches going in it is 7 14 so we're gonna let these sit for a couple hours all right he got the table out of here I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this and then we'll set up the other tables and see there's so much room now when there's no table here we'll see how much room there actually is with the two four foot tables
So I got this three pack of tablecloths at Walmart for, I think it was $3. And then I bought this $1.28, just like a Merry Christmas banner. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up for tomorrow and I'll leave it up through Christmas because it's kind of festive and I like it. Okay, that's where I decided to put it. I may move it and put it right here. It fits right here too, I don't know. It's kind of blocked by the light over there, but it's just for fun, so it's not a big deal, but I wanted it in the dining room, really. And the table fits good. You know, it's a small house here. I'm always trying to like squeeze out more room from this house, but I figure this is probably the best idea because we can fit eight more comfortably. All right, it is actually the next day. It is baking day. Today is December 22nd, and I was, ju I just crashed last night. I was <laughs> thinking that I would get the cookies rolled out. Didn't happen. I was just exhausted. It just really hit me after I, I like cleaned the basement, vacuumed the stairs and everything, and then I just like, I'm gonna sit down, have about another hour before the cookies are, you know, cold enough, and then that was it. That was it. So, I'm doing it this morning. I'm gonna go ahead and roll out the sugar cookies and get those baked. That's the big thing I wanna get done. I'll be doing a lot of the baking when everybody's here, but I need to prepare like the food. We're gonna, I'm gonna make homemade chicken salad, some punch, stuff like that. So, and honestly, don't know what time everybody's coming. I think it's gonna be more like late afternoon, evening, cause like I said, my sisters are driving back from West Virginia today from skiing yesterday, so. It's gonna be this evening anyway, so I'm not gonna rush. I'm not gonna stress. I'm not gonna stress. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll out the cookies now. We'll see that the recipe will le be linked down below. It says you need to do them really thick and you don't cook them. You kind of undercook them, but I'm not gonna do that just because I do want them. She says if you're gonna decorate them, you do need them to be a little bit more firm. I have this massive box of cookie cutters. I bought it at Goodwill a while, but, uh, years ago. But, and then I added mine to it as well. So I have way too many, way too many cookie cutters. But I'm gonna go through these and see which ones we want to use. And I gotta have Christmas music. This is my all time favorite Christmas album. It's an Amy Grant Christmas album from, I don't even know, like the 80s, but I listen to it every year. It's not Christmas time until I listen to it. So I just put that on and listen to it on repeat. Okay, not gonna lie, that was a serious workout. That was a serious workout. <laughs> the thicker you, um, sorry this lighting is not very good. The thicker you do the dough, roll the dough, the less cookies you're gonna get, obviously, but we'll see how thick this is. I think that's pretty good. So I went ahead and cooked these like 14 minutes and obviously the thinner ones got crispy, but this one, these were thicker. This was the first ones that I rolled out and they are definitely thicker and they're probably gonna be softer. Um, it says you have to leave them on the pan for five minutes after they come out and then you stick them immediately into a covered Tupperware container to cool completely, which is kind of strange, but that's what I'm gonna do.
sugar cookies are done, so things I learned doing this. First of all, these are very, very good cookies. They, like, you don't even need icing. They're very good. I love the flavor of them. Definitely the thicker the better. I definitely overcooked them compared to what she said to do. She said um, get them out way before that, but also I want to ice them, and I want to make sure that they don't fall apart. Also, um, the whole, like, letting them cool on the pan five minutes then putting them in a Tupperware. I don't know that all that's necessary. It seemed like a lot of steps. And I still have these cooling, so it made all those plus all of these. I have seven sticks of butter and one thing of cream cheese just coming to room temperature. Those are ready for our, whenever we start making everything else. I told my sister like four or five to come over. It's 2.30 now already. Um, I just need to like make the chicken salad, make the punch. I got everything cleaned up. And prepped and ready so I think it's just making the food and then when they get here they will help do all the rest of the baking so I don't have to do that by myself that's the whole point but we are gonna make some cookies that I saw Jen from cook clean and repeat make with a cake mix they're like ooey gooey butter like the Paula Deen gooey butter cake cookies so they looked really good I'm gonna do Christmas crack which is like the brown sugar toffee over saltine crackers with chocolate on top but um, she made them with the pretzel thin so those two I took from a recent video of hers I'm gonna make snowball cookies I'm probably gonna do chocolate crinkle cookies and we're gonna be doing the peanut butter cookies where you put a little Hershey kiss in the middle but instead of Hershey kiss we decided to do a Reese's peanut butter cup and let's see sugar cookies and then something else I think I have like seven. Oh, the peanut butter no bake cookies there's the oats hiding back there <laughs> um, I'm actually making two batches I always make two batches one is for everyone and one is for Marion because they are his favorite so I just make him a special batch every Christmas for him to eat so it's a lot of baking but I'm gonna have a lot of hands to help so I'm gonna go ahead and make the chicken salad I'm just using this Walmart great value chicken chunk chicken breast with rib meat um, I'll probably make three or four I don't know I'm gonna see how much it makes but I'm just gonna put chicken some mayonnaise a little bit of mustard garlic powder and some green onions cut up and I'm gonna let that sit in the refrigerator and I'll put it on the buns in a little while Brandon and Alexa, they're engaged. Wife skills. <laughs> That's right, they're getting married next year. It's super exciting and they're making the peanut butter no bakes. This is Mandy, oh yeah, look at that ring. Look at that ring. <laughs> this is uh, Mandy in the making's recipe. I had to help her. That's, that's Richard. <laughs> um, I'm making these gooey butter cookies and use like a cake mix. I'm gonna try to link all the recipes down below that I used, but this was Jen's recipe.
cookies are decorated. Now it's time for cookie judging contest. Yeah. So everybody has to pick a favorite. Do we do first, second, and third? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one's mine. This one's mine. This one's mine. Cowboys and a Miami Dolphins showdown. <laughs> All right, first place, second place, third place. Yes. And Angela made um, an honorable mention. An honorable mention. She has a, a little, Walmart employee. A woman with a big no, giant No, Alex. Ring. Um, it's. Uh, I wonder who Alexa these look like. I wonder who they look like, Erica. It's it's an engaged couple. <laughs> okay, Alex. What? All right. It is the next day. It is the 23rd. I need to change all my little. Um, Advent on my little things to say the 23rd hard to believe it is Christmas Eve Eve we had a, so much fun last night I was so exhausted um, I had to get to bed to like I don't know one something and I slept in that was priority one this morning and then I got a video up today which was definitely my next thing and then I am gonna be editing this video tonight when we get home and then I will get it up for you on Christmas Eve. So hopefully that's when you're watching this. But um, I got everything pretty much cleaned up last night. And this is our tray, <laughs> crazy tray of cookies and treats. And we didn't even make two of the cookies. We didn't have time. It was so fun and exhausting, but that's like one of my favorite things about Christmas. And then today is another one of my favorites. We always make time for baking day and then going to look at Christmas lights it's a tradition we've had since the kids were little and thankfully they still enjoy it but uh, Jackson he's not crazy about it but he is going today on an adventure and he's gonna love that he Jordan is a pilot and he is gonna take Madison up tonight right at sunset and they're gonna look at Christmas lights from the sky and Jackson's actually gonna go and so he's he's excited about that I'm probably gonna give him my camera give Madison or Jackson my camera let them go take it I was gonna go too because there is another seat but I have so many things going on and then as soon as they land we're gonna like have to get in the car and go look at lights so it was just it was too much on my plate and so something had to go and I said y'all go I'll give you my camera it'll be fine so Marion and I are gonna when they're doing that we're gonna run back to the store grab a few last minute things for Christmas dinner because my sister and I are still finalizing the menu and it will also give Marion and I a couple hours to um, there's my sister now with the menu um, it'll give us a couple hours alone and that'll be nice and Jackson's really excited Jackson and Madison they're gonna have so much fun so right now though i'm gonna go downstairs and sort all the presents i need to have a pile for christmas eve for who's getting that i need to have a pile for or for what we're doing on christmas eve because that's when we'll have it with michael danielle and paisley and then the secret sibling presents then and then on christmas when with my family in the evening i need to have those presents separated too and then the ones i'll put under the tree christmas morning <laughs> so it's a lot i also need to wrap uh stocking stuffers because i still want to do that Okay, it is after seven now, a few hours later. Um, I'm on my phone because Jackson and Madison took my camera on the plane, so um, hopefully I'm looking at the right spot. But Marion and I just went out, did all those like last minute things, and we actually had time to go out for dinner for Mexican food, so that was really nice and unexpected. And then we were we went to Aldi, we went to a few stores, and we were at Aldi at the last 
the last place we stopped and we were walking out and we looked up and there was their plane going right over us and they were landing. They had just texted us right after that and said they were landing. It was really cool. So um, I just talked to them and they said they got a lot of footage. So hopefully I can add that footage um, probably after this. I'll show you that footage and then I'll catch back up with you. We're going to go to Sheets, meet my whole family and we're going to go drive around, look at lights. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a last minute grocery haul i wanted to get like my you know the produce and the bread and stuff i wanted it to be fresh so i did have to wait to get this stuff so let me just show you what we picked up really quick so i did just pick up a couple of these screen savers at walmart because i got a new phone and i need that i got these at sam's it's 5.98 you get 20 of them so we're going to take these to christmas dinner with my sister got some bananas aldi has really really great prices y'all know this but they have their bananas I got there and then the blackberries were only two dollars and raspberry raspberries also like 208 or something and then this big bag of green beans was a dollar 75 and then I had just bought this at Walmart for two something um so I wished I'd gone to Aldi first but well I'll just have a lot and I couldn't pass up this price so we'll make these Christmas Eve and probably Christmas Day and then I got a bunch of broccoli to also make on Christmas Day for Christmas dinner then I got Grapes, those I actually got at Walmart and they looked really good. I was surprised. So the grapes and the blackberries and the pineapple will be for Christmas morning just with our Christmas breakfast. And then I got a few drinks for Christmas, some mini root beer, mini Cokes, and this just looked really good. I haven't seen this dull lemonade before, but it looked good. So I grabbed that. So I'm going to put all these groceries away and then um, I'll insert that footage here of them flying and then catch back up with you. We survived, Mom. <laughs> that was literally so cool. How did those not go? Alright, I got my camera back. Uh, where it's cheese. Look at all the hot chocolate flavors. So hard to choose. Alright, here we go. Erica, We're what about packed Churchill? in like sardines. <laughs> Jackson's hiding, but like, what about we're, what up, vlog? we're trying to trying to we're trying to figure out the uh, route. But we got Christmas lights, hot chocolate, everybody's ready to go. We don't need one in there. Oh my goodness yeah. gracious! Yeah.
Okay, my friends, I keep trying to record this and it's not working. <laughs> we are back. It was, we were gone for three hours. It's 10.30 and I'm exhausted, but it was epic. It was so fun. Caravanning 14 people around town is quite the task, but we did it. We did it every year. It's a different number. This year we had 14, but it's tradition to go on the 23rd to look at lights and we love traditions around here. So we did it. It was fun. Um, hopefully I got some good shots. That house at the end is always our grand finale. Uh, it was pretty pretty epic. So I think some of the houses we went to, they even added more stuff from last year. It's kind of kind of seems like it's a competition around here, but um, they, that was a lot of fun. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you uh, enjoyed hanging out with me. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve, so I will have another video coming out after Christmas, a couple days after Christmas of Christmas Eve slash Christmas Day into one video. Um, I love looking back at those videos every year. It's so fun. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that this Christmas is wonderful for you. I hope that you're surrounded by your family, your friends, your loved ones, and that your holiday is full of joy. And take some time out of your busy, crazy schedule and just reflect on the greatest gift God gave to humanity, the gift of a Savior, the gift of His Son, Jesus. Um, it will encourage you and it will fill you with joy. And that's definitely what I need to do more often because we get so caught up in the long never-ending to-do list excuse me Clyde wants to be part of this so anyway I love you all so very much I appreciate you so much I'm praying for you always and I hope that you have a very Merry Christmas <laughs> he's the sweetest ever yes you are and I will see you guys in my next video say bye bye <laughs> he wants to snuggle but he's so big he's so big say bye, -bye. Merry Christmas bye bye